the last episode, we finally reached the beautiful crystal clear waters of the Balearic Islands. It was here that two of my closest friends came to visit. After a sad goodbye, it was time to move on. But I won't be alone. I had two more guests arriving just the next day. All right, so we have guests number two and three. You might remember these guys from last season when they came to see me in Portugal. My next two crew members would be my own two little cousins, Rohan and Daman. Now the reason they came to visit me is because they just finished school for the summer, so I invite them to come sailing with me. And as usual, first things first, jump off the boat. I ain't doing that. Water's warm, right? <laughs> what kind of big bro would I be if I didn't pretend to be a shark? <laughs> Just landed in the anchorage. I can't remember what the, the name is. I'll put the I'll put the name somewhere over here. Straight in. What's up, boy? I'm... It's warm, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <just hang. laughs> so we've pretty much completed this anchorage now. There's not really much going on ashore. There's like a little shot, a little beach shop, and a little beach, but it's really, really busy. There's some cool like. Um, Rocks and stuff down there, but we couldn't get the dean closer. The the rocks are too sharp. But the next anchorage we're going to looks absolutely awesome, and there's supposed to be some caves we can go explore. So we're about to get the main sail out. This is the boy's first time doing it. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna face the boat into wind. Just slow us down a little bit. Come on, keep taking that slack. There you go. Look at that. Keep going. Well done, boys. Go on, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing these two on the paddle board gave me an idea. Goodness, what a tiring, tiring day. We've literally just been on the water for like six or seven hours just messing around. Jumped off some little, jumped off some big rocks, some little rocks. Messed around the dinghy, did some free diving practice again, just trying to get my breath holds up. And yeah, this anchorage is absolutely stunning. I love it here so much. And now we're all starving, so I'm just gonna whip up a huge pot of pasta, just munch out, and just have a really, really chilled evening. The time's come to finally leave Ibiza. Um, 
So I've just given these two a little safety briefing, got the life jacket sorted. And our plan is we're gonna be leaving here. I forgot this anchorage name again, I'll put it in the, in the, in the little box. Um, it's a 12 hour passage straight to Palma. Now, although a night passage isn't necessarily needed, the thing is anchorages get really full in the evening. So my idea is if we sail through the night and get there at like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, the anchor should be nice and empty and then we can just find a nice spot, drop anchor, and then we're secure. has just gone down and it's starting to get dark and the boys are ready for the first ever night passage I'm not, these kids stay on their phones man forever just put your phone down I was actually looking at your Instagram so are you ready? that is insane look at that Rest up. Oh, We've gone for a little swim and cool down. Now we're just gonna get jump in the dinghy and go to shore because we need to get some shopping and some decent food. We have made it to the beach, found a nice little spot for the dinghy, and now let's get some proper flipping food. I'm absolutely starving. All the boats have gone, there's about three or four boats left here and a couple of big yachts. And our plans for the evening is I've just made some some pesto pasta and I'm watching this scary film. Now apparently it's a lot of people can't even make it past the one minute mark of this film. And anchoring in the middle of a dark anchorage with no one here, this is a very bad idea. We'll see what happens. Stop. I don't like this witchcraft stuff now. Oh! Nah, I'm horror film off in my life ever. And I've had to just turn this one off. Nah, nah, nah I ain't watching that. I ain't watching that now. I draw. Good morning. So, after a really rolling night last night, I failed the attempt to watch a, ooh, to watch a horror film. Uh, we now have to make a move from here pretty early because we're almost out of water. We have got absolutely perfect, perfect sailing conditions today. We've got like 14 knots just off the bow and we are just absolutely flying at like five and a half, six knots. This is the, probably the best condition I've had for a long time. Yeah, we're going to head straight out and then we're going to tack to the wind, go straight into the marina, fill up with water and then off to the next anchorage. Change of plans, um, as soon as we turned that corner, the wind went to like 20, 20 knots, but to others, gusts of 25 as well. Uh, and the waves just picked up like crazy and it was very uncomfortable. And the anchorage that we were gonna go to was fully exposed to where the wind and the waves were coming from, which weren't even predicted. So I, I made the decision to turn in a little bit early. 
So one anchorage behind, which is super protected all around. And as, as usual, the anchorages here just keep getting better and better. This is an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning anchorage. Yes, yeah, so we can chill here for the night. I'm gonna go for another swim. And there's a, another, another cliff jumping place over there that I wanna go check out. Unfortunately, sad we couldn't make it the full way, but it is what it is. This is what sailing is all about. So a long day of cliff jumping, it's time to make some food. So we've got Ronaldo on oh, the potatoes, we've got a man up there washing some dishes. How you doing bro? Feeding the fishes. Just made some spicy potatoes and some rice. So we tried watching that horror film again. And this time we skipped that first part because it was quite creepy, but we're about three quarters of the way through now, but I'm distracted because this anchor. <laughs> This anchorage, once it focuses, this anchorage is absolutely stunning. It reminds you of those beige again, Italy. So I guess I don't need to sail to Italy anymore because I've got it right here. And all the boats have gone, there's literally one, two, there's three boats here in total, and that is freaking awesome. So I can, I can see something floating in the water, but I don't quite know what it is. Oh no. <laughs> so, the journey for now has finally come to an end.